Hi there everyone. Here we are now at Tata Stalls International Event. This is the CCI 3 Star Track that we'll be having a look at 2012. Um, just before we start this is a big track. So on we go down to fence 1. It's a lovely fence. Um, plenty of flowers in it. Very well decorated. Um, nice big fence to get you into your stride. Um, ground is quite good now along here. Nice galloping track um, so far now here get your wind it up down out to the next big tabletop and uh, good wide tabletop here now um, land over this now and it's a nice sweeping left handed turn down to the, um, number three number three is, is a fly bank it's quite beefy and you have to be real forward at this um, so it's a real big bold galloping fence um, as you can see as you can see um, on the, on the screen here it doesn't really show the, the dimension of this fence but it's big so on down to into four uh, we have a good stretch on down out to four um, it's an, another um, tabletop get you into to keep you in your stride um, the first couple of fences here um, are all it's galloping gets the horse really opened up into his um, cross country pace so on we go down along to the next question which is a trichainer um, this is a new feature now that Ian Stark has put in this year. Um, it's beefy, it's open and, and it's quite with a lot of daylight underneath it. Um, very nice fence, you just keep on galloping at it. Another nice stretch down now to a, a nice um, combination fence. Um, this fence now, I will angle it, uh, angle the first part a little bit to come straight to the part B uh, on a forward two strides. These are two nice tabletops, uh, forward and two strides. Now we gallop on now again, another long stretch now here again to a, an oxer with open rails. Um, this has to be respected um, a little bit. It's big and it's wide and the horses now are in a good rhythm and they're really galloping and looking on to what they're supposed to be doing. And now the next fence, another, another lovely long gallop now onto the next um, fence. Um, this this now needs to be treated with a lot of respect. Um, it's a, an open corner, and we come up we come up along it by the ditch line um, to face this. And we also have an alternative, um, which we now are looking at. Um, it's an open oxer over a ditch, and this is A, and the other part um, is over on the other hedge line at part B. Um, this is a quite forgiving fence, it's quite standard at this level. This is very time consuming now this fence, the long option. Uh, the short option for this now is is um, straight in front of us. Come up here on the left hand side um, to this ditch and come by the ditch line on, and the last three strides should be quite forward to this. Uh, it's a really big open corner. So on over this now we come up here to the water fence and here we have um, introduce Mac Todd from New Zealand who will explain how to jump this. Hi there, I'm here with Mike at the water fence. Uh, and it comes at number nine in the um, CIC three star and um, probably the first major question. So uh, we're going to go through this with Mike and just uh, see how we do. First you've got your approach to the first fence off a turn, a log, hanging log with a big drop in landing on a ramp. He's landed, first stride, two, three, four, second stride. And it walks, it walks pretty long on three strides or um, maybe four strides is going to be the better option. It, it totally depends, I think, how, how your, your approach to that uh, first element, whether the horse just pops in or whether you get a big jump in. For me personally, I like the four stride option through the water because you've got to, after you've jumped in that and travelled through here, you've got to go up this big bank, land there, then one stride again, and in over a very similar fence. And sometimes, you know, if the horses maybe get a little bit of a fright over that, step up there, one stride, that second option, second uh, or third element of this fence, the C element, is going to be quite a difficult effort for the horses as well. So a lot will depend on 
your approach to this and how well they jump this first bit. But for me personally, I think not too much pace, get the horses to pop in and have four shorter, more powerful strides through the water. So you've got a bit of energy behind you, jump up, and I think you're gonna to have to be quite positive to get them back in. And then uh, on further to the D element, which is another five strides to a, a narrow brush, triple brush head, but not, not too narrow. So I think uh, that, that part shouldn't cause any problems. Yeah, thank you very much there for Mark Todd, New Zealand rider, shortlisted for the Olympics this year, for explaining that. On we go now, uh, quick getaway from this to the skin, uh, skinny brush out over another ditch, number 10, on to 11, same type fence again, um, out over another skinny brush, uh, turn right handed then, out through the gate, we have a nice long gallop now down to the coal cart, these are let up fences now along here, uh, jump the coal cart here now, and now we have another long nice gallop now onto the next combination, um, as you can see we have a nice stretch on up to this now, and I will be passing over now to my wife Patricia to explain how to jump this combination. Okay, so now we're here at the 13A for the CCI. Um, it's quite an undulating fence here that Mike is walking. You walk up a slope over a log and he's walking the distance in here where it seems to walk a six strides and then you've got this trochaner on top of the mound which jumped quite big last year and it's, um, it's quite big when you get up there. And then the next part of it down to 14, you've got four strides down to quite a narrow corner here. So this is quite a difficult fence because you're up and down the little, the little mounds here. You do have the option of circling before the corner if you've got a problem on both classes because actually the CIC three star come and jump this as well. And for them it's quite a lot happening here because you've just come straight from the water. So. This would be a good test for all classes. So thank you very much now for ex explaining that to us Patricia. So on we go now to the next fence, 15. It's the horse first um, open ditch. Um, this, this fence looks quite inviting, um, but when you get up close to it, um, there is a very big ditch in front of it. So um, the main, a main aim here is not to let the horse look down into this because he needs to look out over the hedge. So on now to the next combination, uh, it's the double of corners, um, these are quite upright, um, we'll come down along here, on the, we'll stick, we stick on the right hand side track down out to this, uh, the main thing now is to, get, is to treat part A of this with a lot of respect and if you get in over A, B shouldn't be a problem on um, four strides. Um, this, this should ride okay but it needs to be treated with a little respect, it's open and always in open corners, they do need to be respected, um, so this should be okay. So on we go now again, hopefully everything is going according to plan. Down now to 17, it's a nice let up fence inside uh, on the hedge line. Another long gallop now down again to 18, the Land Rover upright brush fence off the mound. Um, this jumped quite well last year so um, no reason why it shouldn't uh, up the mound and you go off the mound again and it's one stride to a, it's a real tall skinny brush just needs to be watched a little bit just in case because in case you could run left or right of it and we go down now to the next combination and this is the Richard Sheen rail ditch and rails uh, I think myself this needs to be respected a little bit. I think you're you're a good bit into the track. There's a lot of jumping done. Horses are on their heads a little bit. So this is quite upright going in and the ground is running away from you quite severely to um, a simple open ditch at the bottom and always the simple things can be the biggest problems. So with this, the main thing is to get in, get in well, and if you get in well, you'll always come out but the, the one stride coming out is going to be long so when you get in you need, to, you need to be very committed and just keep going on one and one. So hopefully now that will have jumped well we have another long gallop now up to another let up fence uh, life, left handed um, up by the rope we swing a, bit, a little bit right handed out over the open oxer um, just as, as I say horses are well into the track now uh, all depends on the weather on the day 
so you just need to treat this with a little bit of respect and it's quite upright and quite wide so on we go down here now on the right hand side of the track to the next combination of the double houses on mounds um, stay on the right hand side of the rope going down along and just we turn back in left handed out over the first house four strides of the second house <laughs> this is a very direct straight line ridden positively it shouldn't be a problem on we go now for a good long gallop up now towards the main arena and we have a footbridge going in which is quite um, upright and beefy as well um, typical of all Ian's tracks that he builds uh, everything is always up to height and now we go into the main arena and we go to the next water fence um, in the main arena this is a new feature so now we're going to pass over now and let um, Matt Coyle introduce this fence so here we are at uh Tattersall's, we're at fence 23, it's a water complex down by the, the main arena. Come, you come over a big footbridge, good galloping around the corner, good vertical rail, it's got a nice ground rail coming into the water. The horses will be starting to get a little bit tired here now, so it just needs to take, take a little bit of respect of this fence and just set them up, get them in over the rail. They're landing on the dry, which is nice and fair. And then they come across through the gallop through the water, up the bank, and out over the rail the other side, which looks yeah, relatively easy enough. Getting in will be the, the main thing that they jump in nice and straight and square. Thank you very much, Mark, for explaining that. So on we go now to the next um, combination, which is the Con Connolly Red Mills Triple Rails and Tracaner. Um, this jumped quite well last, ye last year. Um, triple Rail with a nice drop at the back of it on a right hand turn over the trainer. At this stage of the course this shouldn't this shouldn't be a problem. So on on we're on the way home here now. We have another nice lit up fence, the Irish National Stud and Japanese garden walls. This is another new fence now into the track. Um, so it's a nice lit up fence, encourage the horse to keep going and at this stage of the track we have done all our series combinations behind us and it's nice now to f for the course designer to just get our horses home clear and safe. So on now to the, it's a big upright table type um, fence again with flowers in it. Um, it's big to be respected, horses are getting tired a little bit now so just keep a hold of their heads and keep them jumping. And on now to our last corner, our last real serious question is the corner side in the water. This is a really big corner and with tired horses now at this, at this stage, um, you just need to keep them balanced to keep, keep their heads up and keep them focused on their job and it should jump okay. So after this fence now we leave the water and we're galloping on now down home and we have a long gallop now to the finish line, so um, after this corner now we should be home and dry, but coming to the last fence, um, nice open oxer, so come, make, just make sure that we don't take any chances at this, at this fence, and just keep them balanced and um, get your horse home safely. And I must say, thank you very much for Tata Stalls and running um, a super event this year again. Um, it looks fabulous. Um, the track has done very, very, very well. Um, Ian has done a fantastic job and all his support team. Uh, I must say, all the fences are done to perfection and hopefully Saturday will go well and safely for everyone.